Today we'll show you some beautiful homes in Welland Park, Florida. These homes are actually by Sam Rogers. The community is called Grand Place. Let's check out the first one. First of all, if you notice, they have the tile roofing, uh, which is really nice. It's more of a Spanish feel, but still kind of like a little more modern. And nice. the garage doors seem a little more farmhousey to me too. Yeah. Three car garage here. And these are custom homes. So they said, you know, they can move windows, walls, doors, you name it. So that's really cool. Like the shutters there. Nice touches by the window. We're trying to get inside quick. We're starting to get a little bit of rain. And look at this teal door. Beautiful yeah. with the glass inserts. Nice and tall as well. And the shutters. Right away when you come in, they've got, you can see details and touches that are very nice on the wall with the woodwork. Check out the, the ceiling, ceiling. Yeah, with the cutout. It's really pretty. And you can see a very nice open layout. You can see all the way back to the pool. And as soon as you come in, it's the dining area. Mm -hmm. Somewhat separated areas with the columns and the beams and things, but still got, you know, their own you know feel to each space but still open and i love that they have the exposed beams with the wood yes color it's beautiful looks really nice and as we go along we'll tell you a little bit more about the community about welland park but if you do want to buy or sell a home here or anywhere in the venice sarasota welland park areas call text or email our team 941-221-1897 we'd love to help you and we'll always have your best interest in mind Let's go to the right here. It's the first bedroom. Like the little inset here. That's nice touch. And I like that they have the doors and it's actually just one door and the other two are windows. But that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And we'll take you to that pool later because it is amazing. Yes. Lots of natural light from those windows as well. And again, unique ceiling touches. Plus, unique touches with the walls. The color scheme in here is very uh, soft and subdued. It's got, you know, those, those light browns. It looks really nice. And the, and the tile throughout the home I like as well. Mm -hmm. And the walls match the tile too. It's kind of like a very light gray. Yeah, it's like a brown meets gray or a tan meets gray. And right now we're in the Edgewater model. This is a three plus bonus bed, three bath, three car garage, and the base price is one million two hundred and forty-eight. Big soaker tub. Got yourself a linen here. Really nice with the shelves, and you could take those shaped shelves all the way up too for more storage. Big shower. I like the details with the tile. It's the same as the flooring, but then they have those the smaller. Also got some nice tile on the floor, a little change of pace. Lots and of touches of details. Bench there. And this is a 2,872 square feet home. Also like so lots of room. The separated vanities, big window here for lots of natural light. You don't get windows like this in most bathrooms. No. And water closet. This is actually a pretty big water closet. Mm -hmm. Again, little touches with the little inset area there. Tall baseboards throughout the home. Look at this closet. Really good size. I like that they added a window in here too. Mm -hmm. Especially to bring all that natural light. Again, something you don't very commonly see in closets, walk-in closets, any closets, I guess, definitely not smaller closets. And I like all the, you know, built-in shelving that they have in here. It looks nice, it's functional, it gives you lots of storage space. And Grand Place, um, they, the community actually doesn't have any amenities, but you are very close to downtown Welland Park, the Cool Today Park as well. So you do have access to many of the amenities. Plantation Golf Course is also just a quick drive down the road. This is gorgeous. Lots of space. Again, the exposed beams. 
like how the the ceiling's like slanted mm -hmm. it's pretty cool a lot of times when you get the beams yeah they're really close to the ceiling but i like how it really vaults up mm -hmm. And this kitchen is pretty amazing. Huge island. I love that they did the gold color hardware and the two-tone cabinets as well. It's like a brown grayish. Yeah. So here you can see the two-tone. One side you got the darker brown. The other side you got more of the gray. Almost looks like there's a slight like aqua hue to it. From the right lighting, maybe that's just reflections. I think it looks kind of white, white gray to me. Yeah. And I like the backsplash too. It's pretty cool, pretty, almost a little funky. Got your cooktop there, range hood. Yeah, lots of nice touches in here. And lots of counter and cabinet space, especially when you include all this here. Yes. And then we kind of skipped right away when we came in. We could have took our uh, right. So here's your pantry. And next to the pantry, we have the air handler. And then on this wing, yeah, we've got a few more rooms for you. Got your laundry room. Nice touches with the wall. Again, these are custom builders, so whatever your heart desires you can make happen and also take note that at the time of filming this there's 14 home sites available so and this would be the garage but right now it's the sales center we also got a little cabinet corner space here for you yeah that would be a cool drop-off area for when you're coming in from the garage then we have a another office but it's a guest bedroom with a closet and a bathroom in there Big closet, definitely yeah. more than a standard. Also got yourself a bathroom here again. Good size bathroom. Mm -hmm. And dedicated to this bedroom, which is really nice to have. And I like that they took the tile all the way to the ceiling as well. Yes, very tall ceiling in here. Nice details as well with the tile in the middle here. Little things like that add a lot of character. Yes, the countertop in here, it's a little different too, but I like it. And you got a pretty big window in there for some natural light. And you can also see touches in here with some wallpaper again that's unique. Tall ceilings. Really tall ceilings in this home. And walking again towards the kitchen. Let's go this way. So living area again. And they have a little bar area set up here right next to the kitchen. And dining table nook. So take note of the molding along the ceiling. Real smooth, nice for that, makes that transition look seamless. Yes. And another door to a pool. This would be kind of like a family room or like the bonus space. It's a big space. Yes, it is. And with all the shelving here, the counter, that wallpaper is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And also look at the details with the wood there. Trim, different color paint, and you still got the molding by the ceiling. And then, yeah, they're kind of showing this almost like, you know, you could use it as an office or... A TV room. Mm -hmm. A lot of flexibility in here. And this is big. I mean, this is a big space. Yeah. And here you have a, another little bar area, a dry bar. Lots of storage, counter space, and the tile. wine cooler. Lots of nice touches. Give you some ideas to get the wheels turning, that's for sure. Yes. Bathroom. And so this is one of the few that's not attached to a bedroom. Yeah. You know, it's more of a for everyone bathroom. <laughs> oh, well, we do have a linen yet back here. Pretty good size. And 
another good sized bedroom. Yes. And this is the only bedroom without a bathroom attached, but you kind of have your own right there because it's not attached to any other bedroom. And... and you also have the family room bonus space. So this could be a good guest suite if you set up the whole area for that. Should we go to the pool? Let's do it. So first of all, you got lots of sliders. And the, the sliders over here are a corner slider, so you can open them up and bring the inside out and the outside in. And you can see there's extra space along the wall, so they do open completely. So this entire area could be completely open. Yes. Well, not on this one because it would run into the wall there, but this segment this here whole space plus the corner here would open up and actually take note too of just how much of this wall is glass right so you could really have a lot of natural light everywhere in the house and see the pool from everywhere in the house to invite you to come on out and dip your toes in the water yes look at all this overhang area fans i like the setup with the tv because i think that would be a great spot and they also have the bar over here on there the overhang which is pretty cool as well with some mojitos which i'm a fan of <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like it well actually i shouldn't say who doesn't like mojitos because they're not everyone's cup of tea leave a comment if you're team mojito and you got some lemons here limes <laughs> green ones are limes haiti Green ones are also lemons in Hispanic culture. And look at how much space you have in this cage. And I like this, look, roof, cage, connects to another roof. <laughs> you don't see that very commonly. And this is a big space too for entertaining. And they have little bar stools here in the pool. So you could technically make this like a little bar and you know, you don't have to get out of the pool to enjoy a drink. Mm-hmm. Nice touches with the hot tub area here, the water kind of spilling over. That's always a nice touch. So, starting to see that more and more at places. It's almost like a fountain. Mm-hmm. It's nice and calming too, just to hear it. We've got some seating areas in there, of course. You can come around the pool on both sides. There's plenty of space. And they really did make this entire outdoor area like a, uh, another living space because here you got the another fireplace and another TV, or I should say another fire, first fireplace outside and then another TV outside though. So you got two out here in this, where they're showing it anyway. So really, if you have all these, you don't necessarily need amenities. You don't need to be inside either. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, over there, what did they got like four chairs? Or four seating spots. They got another two here. They've got another four here. And you could and fit more. Dining table as well. And dining table and the little kitchenette area. With the grill. So it's all set up. Fridge, sink, cabinets, nice counters again. Very upgraded. nice, yeah. And water views, which is a lot of the home sites here will have. Uh, and you also have a bathroom a half bath with a linen closet good space in there actually yeah and then toilet pretty cool that's tile that's, yeah, yeah. that's different and you have a window here for natural light and you have a door for the outside and depending on the size of your lot you would have a little bit of a backyard or most homes will have a little bit of a backyard shall we check out the next one let's do it model number two this is the destin much different looking theme right the still got the tile roof but a much different it's style different, yeah, different it's color Again, three car garage. Should note that you're only eight minutes drive from downtown Welland Park, so you could definitely, you know, bike, walk maybe, or, or jog golf there. Cart. Definitely golf cart. <laughs> it's probably the most golf cart friendly city in the United States. Look at this nice area in the front here. Some Again, shade. We have the shutters. Great spot to hang out and say hi to the neighbors. 
Lots of friendly people down here, I'll tell you that much. Yes. And to give you a little more idea, so these are models, right? But they're custom builders. So these are kind of like starting points that you can use to like get an overall layout design and idea and then customize it from there. Look at the beams. Yes. They're black in this one. A little bit more of like a modern farmhouse you look farmhouse, I'd say in here. Yeah, definitely. Like um, the touches with the woodwork on the wall. Yeah, they have the woodwork, they have the different colored tile. It's the wood look tile. And look at those beams in the living room area. I like how they really, and the beams then in the kitchen, right? They yeah. use those to kind of help define the spaces while still keeping it open. Yeah, everything's very nice and open. Look at the floor, wood look tile. Again, this is a really, really, really big living room space in here. And as soon as you come in to your right, you have the bonus space. I like these doors with the kind of tinted glass. Yeah. And I like that it's black too. Yes. Like a lot of the um, doors are black, the beams are black. And they have this set up as a little family room slash bar area. Lots of attention to detail too. Then you got the backsplash there. The and cooler and then woodwork, tile, woodwork, and more unique tray ceilings. Yeah, the ceiling is pretty cool in this room. And multiple colors of paint, super, super, super tall baseboards. And this is a three plus then two bath, three car garage home. 2,697 square feet. Again, some unique touches in here with different color counters. Yeah, countertop. And those are more like marble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has the marble too with a little bit of gray, but it's mainly black. And you have a small sink. So this is like your bar area. Could have a, like a little coffee, coffee bar too. Like the glass with the little X woodwork on that cabinet. And then again, they got the little X here kind of throughout the home. Really big pantry. Yes, really good size. And remember, these are custom built homes. So if you want a bigger pantry, you're able to do that. And they might be able to include granola and Kodiak pancakes. I'm just kidding, but you never know with <laughs> an incentive. So there's another wing over here, but we'll, to continue with the kitchen so we can stay on track here. Yeah, look at the backsplash. It's like that small tile. Looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It looks like checkers from a distance, but when you get closer, there's a little more of a unique design to it. Mm -hmm. Farmhouse sink. That this for water for filling up pots. That's a nice touch. And yeah, there's just a ton of cabinet and counter space throughout this kitchen, especially when you include this wing over here and that, or I should say wing, that extra wet bar area. That's a lot of space. Yes. And then you've got your dining area and look at the ceiling over here. It has the black and the woodwork, same color to add some dimension yeah that might be my favorite one yet that i've ever seen yeah like the farmhouse really door nice. here yes should we go there first and then yeah, i guess backtrack I so. there's a lot to explore in this home and I, I do like the layout in here it's kind of how it's split up with the bedrooms and things separate wings yeah kind of they spider off of the main living area so here so guest bathroom Love that door. Again, I don't know, I like how all the black touches yeah. in here. It gives you a different idea and it's it stands out from you know other homes that we've seen, which you know everyone's got their unique touches and it's fun to check them all out. Yeah. Which a mix of a modern home with you know the uh, farmhouse touches. Which yeah, if you want to see more homes in the Welland Park area and really all over the Sarasota Venice area, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to our channel because we are doing a lot of them. There's already a bunch on the channel though as well. So check out our previous videos if you want to see more right now. And this is the den. They have it set up as a little family 
room area, but I could see this working as a bedroom as well, or as a guest bedroom. Unique touch with the wall there. Big, Big windows. Lots of light. Yeah, this is a big space. Yeah. I mean, you could definitely put some dressers or a wardrobe in here and make it another bedroom if that was kind of what you're looking for. But again, they're a custom builder, so you could maybe just say, hey, can we just get a closet in there? Mm -hmm. So coming back in towards the front here, we got we got a whole wing over to the right to, to show you yet, but or the left, I guess, when you're coming in. You don't want to forget this over here. So sneaky bay, look at this. Yeah, it just goes around. Everything is super on theme here with the yeah. blacks. Good sized bedroom and this closet is pretty big too. Yeah, this is a big space. And leave a comment below once we get done with them all, I guess. But already, like based on the first two you've seen, which are you liking more? I th think there's a notable difference with this one as far as less of the bedrooms have their own ensuite bathroom. Mm -hmm. But it does feel bigger as a whole. Well, this one's actually smaller, 2,697 square feet. The edge water was 2,872 square feet. That's interesting. Yes. I think it's partially because of that bonus room and then just this wing feeling bigger, but I think you're losing a little bit of the space, you know, that with, with some of the bedrooms having their own primary or their own ensuite bathroom. Yes. In the walk-in closets. So I don't know, it's just... And it's not much smaller right. either. It's, it's more of a different use of the square footage. Which another good sized bedroom in here. Leave a comment and let us know what you prefer. Would you rather have those en suites or something like this where it seems like there's a little more living space areas? And we have another linen closet here or storage closet, however you want to use it. Washer and dryer. And puppy room. <laughs> yeah. Again, this nice. is the puppy room actually. Upgraded sinks, you know, backsplash. This is not just, you know, your standard. And yeah, the sink looks really laundry. nice. Yeah, I like the wallpaper in here too. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And the air handler is also here with a little bit of storage. Yeah, we could probably get something to the side there. I really like all the dog stuff in here. This is great. This is my favorite room in the house, I think. I'm a dog person. <laughs> And the garage, three car garage. Water heater is out here. Yeah, and this is big. This is not a small three car garage. No, you could definitely fit three cars in here plus your golf cart. And you can see how it kind of this area here goes back further. So there's room there for storage, shelving, things of that nature. And then coming back out here again, you had two bedrooms here, bathroom. Plus the bonus space Plus back the bonus there. room, <laughs> mud room, big pantry to our left. And all this big kitchen area. And then there was another bedroom back over here. So that's already a lot. And then you have the bonus space here and the primary bedroom on this wing. Another little inset. And the wall, nice touch. Good size. I like that they did what they did with the ceiling here. Instead of doing the wood beams, they just did like a cutout effect, which looks really nice. Especially with the two-tone paint. Mm -hmm. Wallpaper. Wallpaper is coming to more and more model homes that we've been walking through. Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on it. Do you like the comeback of it? I like the doors here as well. These are really cool. Yes. Again, the, the, that black just ma really makes it pop. And lots of window there for natural light. And it makes you want to go out to that pool. And you have first closet. Lots of space in here. Yeah. Really good size. 
and then second closet to your left. It's a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, but still pretty big. And yeah. especially when you combine the two space, that's a lot of closet space. And look at this bathroom. So you have the water closet with a window and this space is big. Yes. <laughs> it's like a bedroom in here. Linen closet. I like that more model homes are doing the split vanities as well. Look at that tile. All the way to the ceiling. Very nice colors in here too. Gorgeous touches. You don't get those on every single home, that is for sure. Yes. And this vanity is even bigger. This one's bigger, yeah, and you have the soaker tub over here. With the two windows. And you can always add like frosted glass to the windows as well. And this is really unique tile as well. I really like that. Should we take a look at the pool? I think we should. To tell you more about Welland Park, they have a brand new downtown that is completely open now. Costco coming soon. Phase two of downtown Welland Park coming soon that will double its size. But there's already a lot to do with shops, restaurants, splash pad for the kids, huge lake, trails. There's a few restaurants as well. Really good restaurants, Oak and Stone. Um, it's really good. Um, you also have Irma's Tacos and the Boca Lupa for pizza is also delicious. But look at this big area for the pool. The overhang is even bigger in this one, I think. Yeah, I think it is too. There are definitely some notable differences though. There's, you know, you don't get the second building outside for the bathroom, mm -hmm. but a lot of overhang space and cage space still. I mean, this is huge. This feels like a cathedral. <laughs> yes. Gorgeous pool. Look at the water fountains. That sound is calming. And coming up here. It's a pretty big pool too. And you have little like steps to just sit on. Like this one, you could just relax on those steps and be in the water, but not be in the pool. And you also have the sunbathing station over here too. And the water spills over the top. And this one as well. A big area here yet. Room to spare. And you also have a little kitchen setup area here with the grill and a sink. And a fridge. Very nice. I like it. Should we go see the next one? Let's do it. Next, we have the Acadia model. And you can see this one's much different. The exterior is much different than the first two. The color, it's more bright it's like a it's like a lilac maybe yeah it's almost like like gray but with a tint of lilac you know like purplish bluish <laughs> it's it's pretty i like it yeah and Those... you have the stone there and look at the details too up there with the darker blue that matches your front door but you have this little overhang here all their models do And this is really unique. Yes. The triple chandelier action. Triple chandelier and column as well. Yes. And also some touches there too with the woodwork at the top. But I guess let's start going to the left here. <laughs> so you got a little like... Drop off zone there. Yeah. So this is, I like it when they do this in these homes. We'll show you in a second, but you might have saw a peek of it. But look at the laundry room area. Very nice, right? Updated, backsplash, with all upgraded, the, I should say. And with all the cabinets too. Yes. Big cabinets. Um, your air handler, it's also in here. And... This is the awesome part. Primary closet. So when it's laundry day, you're like right there and you have access to that, but yet you can close it off with this door. We'll take we'll you to the- show you, yeah, in the yeah. 
um, but to the right here it's the garage but you also have a guest bath half bath it's always nice to have that right at the garage because sometimes you, you get home and you're like i gotta go so pretty cool flooring in there too door. so you have the three car garage you can see they're making use of it but look at i mean they got a lot of stuff in here right i mean there's plenty of room in here to spare and again this kind of indents in so you got room there for storage you can put shelving in and again this is the acadia model it's a three plus bonus two and a half three car garage home 2500 square feet and the base price on this one it's 975 but there is also a lot premium for all the homes if you want to know more information make sure to call text or email our real estate team 941-221-1897 Things are always changing with pricing and bonuses, incentives, and we do have good relationships with all the builders in the area. So we can maybe let you know if there's something going on that the public doesn't know about yet. Everything's very light and bright in here. Yes. I like the flooring, the, the colors of the paint. The blue also, it's kind of like a beachy feel. Mm -hmm. Much different feel than the first two. Each home's definitely got its own touches, that's for sure. Yes, good size bathroom. I really like the tile in this tub here. This is awesome. Like this looks a little distressed with the brown, but it looks really cool. That's definitely different. Haven't seen it quite like that before. We've seen kind of variations of like slightly distressed, but this is definitely a little stronger on that side. Yes. Tall window. And there is a linen closet in here. But to tell you a little more about Welland Park, we are about 25 to 30 minutes of a drive from Venice downtown, which it depends on what community you're in. Uh, but Venice is a quaint little town. It has a historic downtown. There's four beaches in Venice that you have access to. So about a 25, 30 minute drive. There's also Inglewood with their beaches. You're about 45 minutes to Sarasota and all their downtowns as well as Siesta Key Beach and about an hour, hour and a half to Fort Myers and Alder beaches as well. <laughs> and tons of shopping in Sarasota as well with the, you know, there are multiple downtowns, the big city downtown of downtown Sarasota, St. Armand Circles downtown, Siesta, Siesta Key, Key Village, Village, and Siesta Key Beach, of course. And then all the shopping in the UTC mall and the UTC shopping area outside of the UTC mall. I like this touch here. That's different. For a little, little shade. <laughs> Makes me think of like royalty. Royalty, actually. Royalty. <laughs> I like the color of the paint in here. It's fun. It's a little more bold. Kind of matches this sink, actually. It's a little different hue, but similar. So now we'll take it to the living area. So they kind of front loaded a lot of like the live or uh, bedrooms. And again, this is stunning. Big island. And they did the same thing with the two-tone cabinets. Got the blue here that matches the bathroom and the white everywhere else. And you have your pantry here, good size pantry. You could bring all the shelving to the ceiling. And I like that this one's not a corner one personally, just because you get the shelving on both sides then. Mm -hmm. Microwave and oven. And if we didn't notice, note it before, but we there's have Joanna Gaines over there. The option to get gas stoves. Chip and Joanna. <laughs> so that one's all Joanna. She's got that one. Solo. And again, nice touches with the beams in here. They're more of a espresso, light espresso color. Huge living room area. Again, they did not skimp. I really like how they have this dining area almost enclosed, but it's still open to the rest of the house. I could see this, you know, like for people that really want their formal dining, this is a good compromise. And you could always add like sliders or uh, French doors. Yeah, I think this is a great layout. This is for me, yeah, I prefer this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's its own space, but it's still like you get your open layout. It's separate, but it, you still have an open 
open layout to the remainder of the home. And again, some nice touches with the wall there with the woodwork along the TV there. And primary bedroom. Nice ceiling again. Different color paint there. Oh, and there's a little bit of a more unique shape to it. It's not just your standard square or a rectangle. And the wallpaper in here is cool too because they just did it basically centered with the bed instead of doing the whole wall. And there's some trim on the side of that as well. Mm -hmm. And with the two windows to the side, it makes it look pretty, pretty cool. Big windows here and a door to get you out to the pool quicker. So when you wake up and you really need to go swimming, it's fast. Or if you're outside swimming and you want to use your own bathroom, it's quick to get in here as well. Speaking of bathroom, look at this shower. It's basically the whole wall. And the tile in here, it's really nice as well. Some unique pads are with the herringbone and that ties into the floor herringbone. Slightly different shades of the grays and whites. And you have a floating vanity, which this is new. I like that. Lighting underneath. Very cool. And water closet to your right. With a window. And linen closet. This is a big linen closet as well. Mm -hmm. Now for the start of the show. It's all one Primary big bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> closet. This closet feels like a bedroom. Yeah. It's big. And then again, that's the laundry room where we walked in right away. So uh, that layout, yeah, we've seen this uh, in a few model homes. Some will even have like a little mini door that you can open to access the laundry room. Uh, it's like basically like almost like a doggy door, but more like eye level. But yeah, I think that's a super convenient thing to have. Especially because that way you have the laundry area close to all the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. and so back over here, we got one more bedroom yet. And you'll notice a theme with a lot of their homes that their layouts are kind of this way. You know, you got your main living area and then on the corners, they'll have the bedrooms around it. Yeah. So everything's very split, super split. Like it's split three ways or four ways. Good size bedroom. We got the big windows and also a door for um, going out to the pool. So this would make a good guest bedroom. And the, yeah, the wallpaper looks really cool too. And you have a pocket door. Nice touches in this bathroom as well. I like that tile. It's, a, it's like uh, almost, I don't know, text, talk, textured, frost, slightly frosted glass. I like that there's a window in here for some natural light. It's a neat tile. A little inset there for shampoo and such. Pretty good size walk-in closet too for a non-primary bedroom. And it's pool time. Really nice pool area. Yes. All of them have been exquisite. Yes. A lot of seating area in here. Again. Lots of space too between the overhang and the cage. Yeah. Got you hooked up with all your outdoor kitchen needs. Really like the cabinets out here as well. Mm -hmm. They seem like they would be those metal cabinets. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The ones in the garage. Another waterfall out here. Some steps. Hot tub area. 
and a lot of room to spare yet over here. This is probably the smallest of the three, but it doesn't feel small at all. Yes. Depending on the size of the family, this would be a good size. Yes. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Welland Park, Venice, or Soda areas, make sure to call, text, or email our real estate team, 941-221-1897. Call or text at any time. We'd love to help you out. And let us know in the comments which of the three homes was your favorite. If you want to learn more about Welland Park, check out this video right here. It gives you the pros and cons. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to catch our newest home tours, videos about living in the area, and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching, and live breezy. breezy.